The discussion so far has covered situations when project achievements are close enough to plan that only minor day-to-day -day corrections are required. On occasions, events arise or risks are revealed whose impacts are or would be outside of the project manager's day-to-day -day authority. When a risk or issue arises, it is logged and examined. If it is inside the project manager's authority, corrective actions are taken. If it is outside of the project manager's remit, an exception report using Appendix A10 is raised to the project board to consider. They may consider the matter acceptable within current arrangements or they may amend current arrangements within their authority, both of which result in corrective actions. Corrective actions amend, delete or add work packages within the current stage's scope. Alternatively, the project board may ask for a plan to react to the new context or they may close the project prematurely. Taking each in turn, when an exception report shows that the current stage will not complete to its current stage plan, plus or minus agreed tolerances, then the activities of managing a stage boundary may be used to bring a premature close to the current stage and create a new stage plan. Also, probably a revised project plan, revised business case and revised risk profiles and perhaps revised role assignments and responsibilities. The stage is summarised in an end stage report and the net result is that the project board consider a revision to the project initiation information on which they authorise the project and a stage plan on which they may authorise a replacement stage. Exception plans always run from the point of exception to the end of the current stage. The project board may decide that the project should end here and now. The exception report or the results of exception planning may trigger the premature closure of the project through closing a project's activity description for prepare premature closure, which results in checking the status of handed over products and maybe reclaiming some, releasing staff, reporting on project performance, and then closing the project. All of the arrows we have seen linking activities are in fact flows of information and control. Let's now in the next video look at the complete set.